Good day guys, uh, Erickson here from Los Angeles and I want to show you some of the pots that I created this morning. Um, so I placed this uh, pot, all these pots here on this um, plastic organizer that I got. I was actually going to go get another metal organizer but I could not find anything in uh, Lowe's and at Home Depot. So. Since this one actually matches um, the paint that I have on the floor, so I just decided to just go for it. So here, this is an Hespero Aloe and um, some Echeverias, I think these are called um, slippers, ruby slippers or something like that. And I have some Aeoniums there on each corner another Echeveria over there they have a smooth texture on on their leaves you you guys might probably remember this this is the one that I got from the farm and I just put it here and then there's a Hesper aloe in the middle and another one that I got um, from flower district last week I also placed it here this one is an Andromeda Echeveria. This is the one that I've been looking for for so long, but I couldn't find one. So I went to uh, Lowe's last um, Wednesday and I found a salvage one or something that, that needed to be rescued. So I, I bought it and hopefully I can bring it back to its um, magnificent look. Right now, I, I transferred it on this pot and I will closely monitor it. And hopefully it will recover from all the damages uh, and you know whatever or whoever handled it they I just feel bad the way they handled this magnificent uh, plant um, here there's another ruffled Echeveria that I put on this green container this is the one that I showed you guys uh, earlier and another one that I also purchased is also an Echeveria I don't know what it is and I have this Kalankoe and Mother of Thousands placed on this uh, um, container as well. And then here I have some Ghost Echeveria. I mix this um, Aeonium Sunburst with them just for, for it to fill the gap. Obviously I still need to put on flower there because there's a lot of gaps. <laughs> Another... Um, another Echeveria is here and I, ha I put actually those two uh, rows they're also Echeveria family on the corner and here is a sunburst in a small pot and another Echeveria this is also an Andromeda that's actually a, it's actually a pup and I moved it here um, I uh, I separated from from the mom and I think it should be able to survive uh, by itself so again hopefully I can able to recover this uh, zebra uh, aloe here and I also made some changes on this one that I also show new guys last week so I changed uh, some of the pots see my sea dragon i put it on this container it is getting bigger and i want to accommodate its size the same way with this thick hybrid and the rest they're pretty much the same thing i just um, changed the pot again to accommodate its growth this one my huge um echeveria lipstick and this one there's a bunch of um um, those uh, Echeveria here and Rose Echeveria that I put together this one is my Black Prince this is actually a gift uh, for me for my birthday last week this is the Blue Prince Ruffled Echeveria there and my Echeveria Debbie Afterglow over there another afterglow here and this one's actually new the one that has a web 
I don't know what it is, but it looks pretty cool. I'm here. And there's another one that I also created on this corner. This is a Chaveria Lucita. And this is, uh, I think this is Stone Crop, if I'm not mistaken. So I put this on this uh, beautiful pot that I found uh, sitting in my garage. And here I put together all the mother of thousands, mother of millions, and my pink butterfly all together. Since they're all part of uh, Cam and Koei family. So this is how it looks like from this uh, corner. And then here is my Ionium that I also put in this uh, fish kind of design pot. It looks pretty nice. A Chinese pot that I also found in my garage. So this is how they look like here on this side as well. So everything is uh, it's it's organized, neat and i created a uh, space for people to walk around as well so they wouldn't be these plants wouldn't be on the way and they wouldn't um, they wouldn't get destroyed when you know i have uh, people walking by or you know they have their kids playing on this yard have one more Espero aloe over there uh, surrounded by aeoniums that I also put in there and put some calanchoes on each corner as well and my agave is sitting here thriving loving the sun and my tapestry that I created on my side yard all looking pretty good and plants are thriving which is the most important thing so there you have it. I hope you guys are enjoyed enjoyed the uh, the plants that I showed you, and you guys are having a good weekend. I will see you guys again on my next video. Take care, guys, and thank you for watching.